Well, with the holidays around the corner, more and more people are looking to adopt a furry friend for their family, and now might be a good time to do so as temperatures get colder. Taylor Austin reports on what Furry Friends Rock and Rescue says we can do to help animals without a home this winter. Furry Friends Rock and Rescue likes to keep animals safe, and with temperatures on the decline, there are more rescues coming in daily. Sarah Huft, the shop manager of Furry Friends, says that they're rescuing more animals than they ever have before. And she says it's terrifying to think that single-digit temperatures aren't even here yet. Kittens and puppies that are outside that they normally would be able to wait until mature age to leave mom, but now we're at risk of them freezing. And we're at risk of them not being able to find shelter or even water that's not frozen solid. Julie Sherado, a board member at Furry Friends, talks about one kitty within their facility, Tippy, who lost the tips of his ears due to freezing cold temperatures. People will go, oh, it's a cat. They will find warmth. They'll find a building. They'll find a haystack. Guess what? Tippy didn't. Tippy did not. And so if, you, if an animal can't find warmth or a place to get out of the cold, you're right, that's when we're going to see the ears like this, or they stick to the cement, or they pee and stick to the cement, puppies or kittens and cats. There are ways to help cold cats and dogs, though. Furry Friends has been working on feral cat dens that are placed around the city where there isn't any shelter for wild cats. To make a den, they'd take a cooler, cut a hole out on the side, and then place straw on the inside. Straw is the best insulator for these small shelters because it keeps away moisture and still provides warmth. Furry Friends Rock and Rescue says that if you want to adopt and help an animal in need, the best thing to do is to foster first before adopting. This will help you find the perfect fit for you and your family, and you'll help others along the way. For KX News, I'm Taylor Austin. If you'd like to foster, volunteer, or adopt from Furry Friends Rock and Rescue, you can visit kxnet.com.